the actual rock climbing that you do is solid but you don't want to do it like really early season before there's been thunderstorms mm. because what happens because it gets covered by a bunch of snow you know how it is when gullies melt out and it leaves mm. dust over everything yeah. so you wait until there's been some good thunderstorms to wash it all off and then, oh. it's, then it's in condition about the third pillar it's an awesome climb <laughs> and uh, yeah definitely excited about meeting Peter and climbing awesome you know we originally were thinking about doing Charlotte Dome which is a bit easier and uh, this at 510B is kind of at the limit of what I can do high up in the backcountry so I'm a little nervous I'm excited about it <laughs> cool she can do it <laughs> That isn't the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
cool. This is a lot more doable than it looks. Yeah. Peter just hauled me up one part of this. <laughs> Really not that far to go. No, you're almost almost here. Good hand jam and then pull up and grab some blocks. <laughs> yeah, because those are really good hand jams. Uh, With the fitness level you've got and just a bit of training on that, you, you gotta be able to do yeah, it. Yeah. It's just, you know, the thing about it is is to get on like you guys probably get on some five eight hand cracks, get a top rope set up on yeah. So you feel comfortable. Yeah. Don't don't try to do the hardest thing that you can because you cut your hands up and mm -hmm. you won't really be getting it. You want it to be easy enough so that you're not like running out of strength. Yeah. You're just trying to figure it out. Yeah. Sort of, you know. There you go. Good job, man. Easy. <laughs> Sure helps that uh, these horizontals end up being in cut rather than sloper. <laughs> what an awesome climb! Oh gosh, that was great! Really, really fun. Great! No biggie for us. Yeah, I guess not. Is it too early to eat lunch? Guiding this guy on Agassiz. Um, I think you know who it is. I can't remember what the guy's name is. But anyway, so I, I guide him on kind of an easy scramble at Peak down by Bishop Pass. And uh, so I, we're mountain climbing, and I go, So what do you do? He goes, Oh, I work at NASA. And I go, you know, What do you do there? And he goes, oh, I'm, I'm a manager. And he just kind of shuts up about it. Yeah. So with a bunch of digging, I find out he manages. The, he, well, for one thing, he's a nuclear astrophysicist. He manages the team that have sent the Mars rover that's supposed to land in the mi middle of this month. Mi oh. no, sorry, middle of August. And the reason that they pick now is because with different orbits, it's way closer. Every wow. two years, it's especially close. Huh. If you do it just some random time, it could be millions and millions yeah. of miles further away. Wow. But it was wow. so funny the way he just... He made it sound like he just shuffles paper and, yeah. you know doesn't really know what's going on. Well, we were kind of laughing down here when those guys said, are you Peter Croft? And you never really answered him. <laughs> that was good. Do I look like Yeah, he, he asked me again at the last belay they caught uh, up, so I fessed up. <laughs>